Today, I'm gonna show you how to use your DSLR with Zoom on your MacBook without spending on expensive capture cards. All you need is a USB cable. Let's get into it. What's up guys, I'm Shaq and this channel is all about helping you with the best tech tips and fixes. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing by clicking right here so you do not miss anything. Make sure you watch this video till the end because I'll be sharing some cool extra accessories at the end of this video. Accessories that you can use on your Zoom conference call. So first thing is first, you'll need your DSLR's USB cable, which is something that looks like this. In my case, I've got a D3300 Nikon DSLR camera, but if you have a different brand, that's completely fine. The method that we are going to talk about today works with most of the DSLRs out there in the market, so you do not need to worry about it. Before connecting our DSLR into our MacBook, we need to perform a few steps on our MacBook. Now, moving into our MacBook, uh, the first thing you need to make sure is that you have Zoom installed on your laptop, okay? This is obvious, uh, you need to have Zoom installed. Now, the second thing you need to do is click right here and type terminal, okay? Hit the enter button, and then you need to write two codes right here. Do not worry, I've left these comments that I'm gonna write here in the description box below. So the first one is, Xcode iPhone select dash iPhone iPhone install. You're gonna hit enter, and in my case, I already have Xcode installed on my PC on my MacBook, so it says that it's already installed. But in your case, if you do not have it installed, you're just gonna follow the steps and it's going to download the software and install it for you. The second code you need to type is sudo dash co-design dash iphone iphone remove iphone signature dash slash applications with capital a slash zoom dot us dot app slash you're gonna hit enter and it's gonna ask for this particular user's password okay the laptop user's password i'm gonna type my password don't worry, the password won't be visible right here. After you're done typing, hit the enter button and it's gonna come to this very first message, which means that you've successfully sent this command to your MacBook. What we've done right here is basically uh, make sure that Zoom doesn't block an external camera on its software, okay? Once you're done doing this, we're gonna close it, we're gonna open our browser, and we need to download two softwares. The first one is Camera Live. Do not worry, I've left the links in the description box below so that you can access the exact websites that I'm visiting from my MacBook. You're gonna click on CameraLive.zip to download Camera Live. And then once it's downloaded, you're gonna open a new tab, and you're going to download Cam Twist by visiting this website right here. I've left the link in the description box below as well. You're gonna click on download now, and then you're gonna click on download 3.4.3 now. Once it's done, you're gonna start by installing Cam Twist by clicking right here to open it, okay? Uh, in my case, I already have it installed, so I won't install it, okay? You just need to double click on this, and if you get this error right here, you just need to come to System Preferences and then you need to click on Security and Privacy and you need to click on Open Anyway, okay? This is gonna open the installation, okay? So I won't install it right now, I already have it installed. Once you're done installing it, you're gonna connect your DSLR to your MacBook via USB, okay? So I'm gonna connect it. Now, the next thing you need to do is change the mode to P on your DSLR right here, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna open camera live. Now, it says camera error because my lens is not yet extended. So I'm gonna extend my lens 
and now it says active okay once it's active the next thing we need to open is cam twist okay so it's loading once it's opened you're gonna double click on siphon and then you're gonna click on select and select camera live once you're done with this you're good to go I'm gonna open zoom right here I'm gonna come to settings I'm gonna click on video and as you guys can see I've got my DSLR right here connected to zoom now one of the things that I found really useful for you guys is something called a dummy battery which is a battery that provides you unlimited charge yes you heard it right unlimited charge all you need to do is connect it to your DSLR and send it directly to your socket. This thing right here acts as a charger and it helps a lot in situations where you want to join a Zoom meeting and you want to be there for like one or two hours. That's going to help you because your DSLR battery won't stay longer than three hours recording. Make sure you've got a safe and stable tripod as well to hold your DSLR camera. I've left links in the description box below so that you can purchase a dummy battery or a tripod if you're interested in getting one. Let me know in the comment section below which DSLR camera you use to connect to Zoom. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you do not miss my next video. I'm gonna see you in my next video.